What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and in the last video, we took on Hawaii, had another close game, and somehow, somehow, we came out with a victory, because if you look at the box score, the second quarter was like the worst quarter ever, yet somehow we came back with a four-point win. We shut them down in the second half. It's kind of been a theme this year with some of the teams we played. They played good in the first half, then second half, we just turn on the Jets defensively, offensively, and come out with victories. We're 8-2, and two, five in a row on the wins, and today we're taking on Arkansas State. They're 3-7. and seven. They've lost two in a row, but that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. It all depends just on matchups and kind of what you're going up against. They obviously got more talent than we do. They run the ball fairly well, and their defense doesn't look completely terrible. Now, let's go to Sports Illustrated. Let's go to Conference Standings and check out the team screen. Galashaw is leading rusher, <laughs> which is goofy, but we've had no choice this year but to do that. Uh, Jimmy St. Louis, I think he still has a good chance of winning the tight end award. And we got a new interception leader in Freeman. He's our number two corner. Now let's go to the Sun Belt and check out Arkansas State to see what they got going on. Their wide receivers out for eight weeks. I don't know if he's like their best guy. We'll find out when we get to the game. But they got a leading rusher of 110 yards. I mean, so they run the ball fairly well. And their leading tackler has got 65 tackles on the season. Now let's go to... I don't really care about the red. I mean, none of that affects us. Let's just go to war finalist. And Jimmy St. Louis is still leading, which is good. He's destroying everybody in the receptions and yards category and the stats, but not so much on the touchdowns. He's got seven, and the other two finalists have six. So, and we need to figure out how to get a couple more touchdowns. I'm not going to force it. We just care about winning games. But I'd love to see him win this thing. The other award we are up for is the Coach Award. As long as we keep winning, I think we have a good chance of winning that one as well. Bowl projections, let's look at this. Keep on going and seeing. And this isn't good. Now, if you notice, every one of these bowls are tied to conferences. This is another advantage of being in a conference. You are automatically tied to bowls. So you go like, look right here. The number six SEC team is taking on the number five Big 12. The problem is every one of these, like I said, are tied to a, a conference. Except like the Poinsettia Bowls and at-large. A 6-4, and four, number 22. So that tells me we may not go to a bowl this year. I hope I'm wrong. I want to go to a bowl, but every single one of these besides this one is an at-large. So if we don't go to a bowl after this season, then I may rethink my strategy of staying as an independent. Only because, I mean, that's just an extra win that you can have. I mean, bowl games are good. That's just more points to use. So it's almost like national championship or bust if you're an independent. But we'll see what, how that all this goes. I'm not too worried about that yet. Uh, let's go to rosters. And we haven't checked this in a while, but I was curious to see how anybody has gone up in their ratings. JSLs went up a couple. Potts is up two. I think he was stayed there ever since like a few games ago. But look at Abdullah up plus six, which is really cool to see. I don't think that has anything to do with him being on offense. His strength has went up five. His awareness is up seven. Maybe that's helped being on offense a little bit. But it's not like his catches went up or anything. His tackles went up plus four. So that's good to see. We can check out a few more. Greco, true freshman's went up four. Walker's went up four. Our other middle linebacker. He doesn't play a whole lot. But it's good to see him. I think he plays a lot of special teams as well. And look at our two halfbacks, Odoms and Griffin, two and three. Everything else, I don't think there's any... Uh, yes, playbooks. Let's talk about this for a little bit. I made a couple changes. For those of you who stood or, or stuck around to the end of the last video, I talked about this. I'm adding weak twins because there's a two or three plays in it that kind of fits our offense or our personnel. So we're going to have Galshaw run out of this along with I-Twins, and I may take him out of wishbone normal. I don't want him playing too much on offense because I don't want him gassed all the time. But I definitely want him here because there's a couple plays I think he will flourish in it. The other change I made was I replaced gun trips over with gun Y trips. It's pretty much the same plays, but just a kind of different way of doing it. 
So those are the two big changes there. So I think that's it. So let's go ahead and take on Arkansas State. I've done some scouting. They are a 4-2-5 defense, so I don't know how well we'll do against that. And they are a balanced offense from what I could tell. According to the, It's been a, a day or so since I looked at it. So it'll be an interesting matchup. Now, you got to remember that we're having a really good season. This is the end of the season, which means there's always that goofy game towards the end of the season where they try to trip you up. At least it feels like it at, at times. Now, I've won plenty of national championships playing this game over the years, but I have seen that a time or two. You guys have well, as well, for those of you who kept up with the channel, know that when you play well towards the end of the season, you'll have that end of the season game where... It just seems like nothing is really working. Hopefully this isn't the game. It may be the Eastern Kentucky game, for all we know. Okay, they won the toss. They won the ball first, which is fine. Uh, let's go to formation subs. Let's get that out of the way first. Here I want Galashaw. Now, because we used weak twins earlier in the season, I believe, or we used it the previous season because this is all profile-based, I want Clark where he is currently at. Normally he would be over at the X spot, the far left, but I want him right there. Because of this, I want to put Griffin right here. That way Galshaw again doesn't play a ton of snaps on offense. Just some of them. So that's the only changes I needed to make there. One thing I do want to do is I think I may switch Odom's right here. That way it's a little more balanced because I had Griff in a few other spots as well. So I think it's pretty even across the board for those two halfbacks. All right, let's check out their roster. Starting quarterback, true freshman with 80 speed. So I'm not going to be doing much blitzing. I don't think it's worth it. Halfback, at least they don't have an impact guy, but he's a true freshman, 78 overall with 90 speed. He's a power back, which is funny, I guess, because of his strength. But he still has 90 space. So that's a good little running back for them for the next few years. Fullback, nothing crazy there. Impact guy, out for eight weeks. So that helps us today. So he's not playing today, which tells me we probably need to focus on the run game a little bit more since he's not going to play. They may still throw ball more. I don't think they will because he's out. But their best offensive player still on the field will be this guy right here. So they still may pass a little bit more. We'll still stick to the one high because if I was them, I'd run the ball with these two guys right there. So we'll see how that goes. Tight end, nothing to get excited about. The guy's got 74 speed, but he can't catch. Let's look at their offensive line. 78, 70, 80, 84, 76. Nothing to get excited about there. Like I said, they run a 4-2-5. So the front four, 80, 76, 80, and 76. So not a bad defensive line for that conference, I guess. 70 and 85 will be your starting two linebackers. In the 4-2-5, it's your left outside linebacker who's your starting outside linebacker. So we're not going to see, unless they move this guy over, which is possible, this guy will end up starting. I don't know how they're going to end up doing that. It, I mean, of course, they're going to probably do different formations as well. I'm just saying. Corner, 86 and 76. But then they got an impact free safety. And an impact strong safety, so that's going to be interesting. You don't see that too often. It'll be interesting to see how we handle that. Now, they got a terrible kicker. He's a freshman. And a pretty good punter. Now, it reminded me, going back to the 4 2 5, you're supposed to have an extra strong safety. Looks like this guy's going to play quite a bit today, which doesn't hurt my feelings. He doesn't look very good. But it's been a while since I went up against the 4 2 5. I don't know if our offense can handle it because our our entire run game is to the outside because our offensive line is so bad. So we may not be able to go to the outside a whole lot today. We'll see. All right, let's get this show on the road. Not a very good kick. He fair caught it. Going four wide. Let's do a one high and a nickel. Since they have no impact guys out there. Let's do this and stay it. Ooh, that should have been picked. Somebody had a hand on it. Let's do a one high from here. Going pro twins. 
Going draw. Somebody stop him. Get stopped there. So it's third and long. We're going to go cloud. And I, it's third and 12. I don't know. We're leading the nation in defense, but that's kind of misleading. I, I may go after him. And he took off with it. And that's what I get for going after him. That's my fault. We won't do that again. As soon as he saw me, there he went. So that's my fault. So we'll go back to a one high. And my linebackers didn't have a clue what to do there. Somebody stop it. Pick up a solid seven there. We'll just keep doing a lot of one highs. Like I said, since their impact line, their wide receiver is out today, I figured they will run the ball more. So far, that's what they're doing. Play action. Ooh, he's wide open. Dang it! Dang it! I swear. That was my fault. But now they're going to play action off that man, so that's not even... That's not good at all. Well... So much for this drive. It's a it's your typical drive in this season. They always score first. It never fails. Now I don't know why I just went four four. Doesn't really matter, I guess. They should score. Told you. Yeah, just too easy. Well, not the start you wanted, but we're used to it, so I shouldn't get too upset about it. I should be used to it by now. We just don't know how to stop guys in the first drive. It just it never works for whatever reason this year. So let's get on offense. If we could get him a third and long, so I'm not too worried about it. We had him in a third and long, but he just ran out of it way too easily. We'll take a knee on this one. Now what we can try, let's get Galashaw going. We could try one of our new formations. We're going man, and there it is, the 425. What worries me is how they're spreading out like that. No, go back the other way. I want the other guy. We'll go to this direction. Good block there. I thought he won't be able to get it. Get about eight yards. Our entire offense is all about getting to the outside because that's just the way it's set up. Let's go tunnel screen. Going man 4-2-5. See, that's what worries me is that guy hanging over there. Let's bring him over just in case. Over the top. Can he get a play? Just overthrew it. Not a very good throw at all. I had to take him over. I felt like I had no choice. Um... Off to a rip-roaring start, as usual. Let's go curl flat. We're going zone, thankfully, so maybe we can get this to JSA and he can get the first. Rather give it to him than anybody else. Dang it! Dang it! He got bogged down. Terrible. Uh, I got a punch. I got no choice. So, like I said, it's our typical first quarter blunder. And a terrible kick. Look at this. Oh, that's so bad. Just, and that should have been a touchdown. That just... When it rains, it pours, but we'll deal with it. Halfback draw. Pick up an easy seven yards. Way too easy. Just keep doing one highs, I guess, until they... I don't know. I'm afraid this ain't going to be good. I just got out of feeling. This is going to be another struggle. When it probably shouldn't be. I mean, they're a better team than us, but still. Wide open. Now they're back to their play actions. Let's try a zone blitz and watch them run to the opposite side of the blitz. They're doing that. Of course they are. Let's try... Yeah. 
Easy first down. And so what I may do, we're going to just run clock. I, I can already tell this is going to be a bad game. Like, just everything's gone perfect for him at this point. So that's probably what we'll end up doing if we can. Problem is we got sustained drives, and there he goes, six points. I just, I don't get it. It doesn't matter what we call. We'll just let's we'll just eat the game and be done. I, I hate to be a have a defeatist attitude, but you can just tell. I mean, that's two straight drives in a row. No issues. Oh my gosh, I got in front of it. Do you see me go over there and do that? But can we get anything out of it? The problem is we're way back here. I ran all the way over there to get the interception. Problem is we're on the what, the eight? It's not terrible. Um uh, Gosh, we got to take advantage of it, though. That's what worries me. I don't know if we can. I don't know what they can handle. Um, let's go wide receiver deep post. They're going man, but look who's sitting over there. Impact guys. All, all day. Terrible throw. Good job, CT. Just another terrible throw by you. I feel like I got to run at this point. And of course, they. Yeah, this is going to be a bad day, I'm afraid. Like. Get a block right there. First down somehow. Now let's run some clock. Let's go power. We're going zone. But which direction do you go? Look at that. It's just kind of weird looking. I, I feel like i got to go to the left. Just to get away from those two impact guys. So that's what we can do. And just nothing. I mean, there was a couple holes, but... Second and six... Um, let's pick a new play. Let's go in and ups. I, I moved JSL, but they're going man. See, this probably ain't going to work. And I don't like those go routes. I'd rather have a normal go route like that. And look who is on. Well, I don't know who's going to be on him. And he drops it. Well, I mean, nothing I can do about that. Third and six. Um, I'm going to run the ball. I don't trust the passing game. It's not working right now. We're going nickel, but... Clock stopped, so we got a good block there. Can he get to the first down? And of course he did. Of course not. Because we're going to lose. That's what it is. Let's punt. I hate to have that defeatist attitude, but I'm sorry. It just it, it just all just piles up on you, and you just feels like you can't do anything right all of a sudden. We're going to run that clock. Might as well. I don't know what to do offensively. I feel like we're just going to... It's going to be pulling teeth to get anything going. Maybe we get lucky on defense and keep getting turnovers. We, I mean, we'll go quarters. Right now, our defense isn't doing a very good job other than the one turnover I was able to muster. Easy first down there. Try another one high. I'm just picking plays at this point. I have no clear direction on how I want to do this. End of the quarter, thank the Lord. Let's go back to quarters again, I guess. Intercept that. Well, at least it's good defensive play. I'm going to do cloud, but I'm going to do our like drop eight type ordeal.
There he goes. Dang it! Dang it! He still got the first. All that for nothing. I, I just whatever. It's just gonna be one of them days. So let's just get through it. It's so disappointing how you just all of a sudden just can't do anything right. There, look at this. Look at this. It, they're playing perfect football. And there's nothing I can do about it. Look at this. Easiest touchdown in the world. Don't matter what I call. So, all right. Well, we may not get our bowl game after all because if we can't even get, you know, a bowl projection now with a loss here, it's not going to help. I'm afraid I can't even get past midfield today. I, I'm more, I, just, I don't know when I'm more worried about the offense or the defense, but it may not matter. Like I said, it, this may be the game where you just can't, it's just going to be an absolute struggle to win. We're just going to have to get lucky in order to stay in this thing. Fumble. Thankfully, he got out of bounds. Um, I'm trying to think of ways to get to our best, bother our best players, but we're going zone here. I hate to run the same play over and over again, but I don't know what else to... Terrible throw. He had to throw off his back foot or side. That was fixed to get sacked. We could try tight end streaks again. We're going man. 5-2. We may just leave it as is, but we're going to run clock. That's our only strategy at this point. I don't know what else to do. But we got to get first downs to go with that, though. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. At least they're bringing both. And we still get sacked! It doesn't matter what I call. They're going to make the perfect play. I don't get it. It just, whatever. Let's just run the ball. I mean, I ain't going to throw it on a third and 16. We're not going to get it. CT can't make that throw. He can barely make the flat round. So, yeah, it's just, this is the game where you just nothing's going to go right. So let's just try to end it as best we can. We're not going to get a first. Yeah, we may be able to get a first. At least we extend the drive and control clock. I still have no faith in the offense getting down the field and scoring, though. Uh, he's gassed. Let's try. He's gassed. He's gassed. Uh, he, I don't want him playing too much there. Let's go back to power, I guess. I think they're going man, but we're going to go to our left. Run clock and pray. Nobody blocked the guy. Come on, really? Ah, uh, second and eleven. Let's try a tight end corner. They're going man, but they're going dive, so the play's not going to work. It's like perfect play calling. I don't get it. We may get very lucky and somebody on the far left is covering Galashaw. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Cover zero. At least we got it off, but can he make the play? Nope, of course not, because it's just not meant to be. Third and forever. I feel like I got no choice but to run it again. And the, they're going nickel. They're, I'm at a lot. I don't get it. Fumble again. It just. Uh, just, I don't know. Whatever. I just hate that. Just like, oh, can we get one positive play on offense? Just something that's. Halfway meaningful. 
I got a punt, though. I mean, I can't go on a fourth and 12. It's just, at this point, I mean, they'll just go right down the field and score on me. Because our defense can't stop them. I'm going to do a normal punt. But I'm, oh, and I forgot. He's going to still try to do something with this. Well, thankful we got to him. But they got a minute 30. That's plenty of time for them to get him right down the field and score. But what you just witnessed is the worst half of football I've ever seen. When it shouldn't. If it was against a good team, I get it. Wide open. Second and four. I'm going to do a zone blitz because why not? It doesn't matter at this point. All day to throw. Wide open. And six points. Look like a terrible pursuit angle, too. I told you. It's just meant to be for me to get destroyed today. Nothing has gone right. End of the season, crap game is what it is. I got to get over it, though. It's just part of the game. Sometimes you play well, sometimes you don't. I just wish this was a good team we're going up against and I could justify the reasoning, but I can't. And I know some of you may be thinking, run up the middle. I, I can't. I, my, my offensive line is atrocious. That's why we go to the outside so quickly and so fast all the time. I just want to go to hand. I, I Actually, I just want to quit the game. <laughs> just get out of here because it's obviously going over. Get a first down. Got out of bounds at least. We'll go back to our favorite pass play that hasn't worked well today. Going zone. Can he make a solid throw? I don't think he can. Nope. Wow. CT, come on. I know you're terrible, but you're not that bad. Look at that. Two for seven. They're going to score again if I... Um, We'll just go all, toss. Let's just run the ball and go to half. They're going to call a timeout here. You know that. Very forged to get the first. That's... Uh, wide receiver, deep post. I'm trying to think of ways to get the outside. We're going man. Of course, it's going to be an impact guy on impact guy. But they're bringing both safeties. No, nope, double teamed. Dang it! Dang it! I threw it too early, but I was fixing to get sacked. I had no choice. Um, I hate to have Gallashaw out here, but please go man. They're going man, but of course they're going 4 2 5, so this still may not work. Third and two. Get him off the field. He's about to die. Let's go flat out again. We're going zone. I mean, we can motion him out quicker if need be, but that's not been our problem. Problem is, CT just can't make a good throw. That's by far the best throw he's made today. It was solid. He was able to get up the field. Let's just call the same play. We're going man. Now let's see if he can make the out route throw. I pray that they go cover zero, but nope, they're going too high. Terrible throw. Do you see how weak that throw was? Look at look at this. This was so bad. He just short armed it. Oh, just, that should have been a pick six. He's still gassed. Um. Uh, Let's go to, I'm just trying to think of ways to break it up a little bit. I don't trust that, and CT just can't make a good throw. 
good block there. Did they give me the first down, third and one? Of course they didn't. Of course they didn't. I'm going to call the same play. And now they decided to go man. He's coming down. That means he's probably blitzing. Told you. Man, of course we fumble it. Of course, because just nothing's going right today. I, I don't, whatever. Just. Uh, all right, so we're going to just, just get out of here as quick as possible. I mean, there's well, what's the point? Please just run the ball, and hopefully we can make a tackle. They got two stamps in them. Nope, they're going to try to make something out of it. Look at this. Watch them make a play. They're still, tr they're still trying to score. I don't blame them, because Lord knows we can't stop them. The worst half of football I've ever seen against a team that's not much better than us. There he goes. There he goes. Somebody get him. Fumble. Hey, something went right. Can we go pick it up and do something with it? 22 seconds. Can we get a score here? Um, let's go back to tight end corner. I'm going to... Man, I forgot. Dang it, those two guys are sitting over there. Um, perfect defense. Wow. I mean, I'm surprised the shoestring tackle helped. Let's go uh, backfield. I hate calling the same three plays over and over again, but... When you're so limited, you have no choice. All right, they're going zone. At least JSL can touch this. That's a face mask. You're going to throw it? Nope, they're not going to. They're on the seven. We can call that one more time. No, what we're going to do is this. We're not going to throw it. I don't trust CT. They'll probably go man on it. They're going 5-2. Don't shift to the left. And a fumble! Don't, 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 oh, man. I'm about to break something. How bad can this get? I don't... Some, my, one of my linemen got pushed back so badly. I'm sorry to get so upset, but I hope you understand how bad this is. It just... All of a sudden, we can't do nothing correct. And here we go. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Why? I'm about. Uh, I'm about to quit 06 altogether. I'm. I don't. I don't. And we got a player hurt. I mean, can it get any worse? Maybe we'll lose by 80. I don't get it. We're gonna keep playing. I mean, you got to. It's just that's what you're supposed to do. It is, I mean, is the court, is the half over with? Let's check out some stats. Does anybody want to look at some stats? 115 yards. They're 331 because all of a sudden our defense can't stop anything. And then we have one sack. No, look at that. Our, our turnovers. Am I playing 09 or 07 or 08? I mean, what? Is, look at all these turnovers. Just all of a sudden we can't do anything correct. We've had four fumbles today. Let's just get through it. Hopefully nobody else gets injured. We'll run as much clock and end this thing. Here's where you want Super Sim, you know? It's just so disappointing, and I don't know what to do about it. I've never, I've never played a game like this before, where it's so bad, where it's like, I feel like I'm playing... I'm a novice player at this point. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing. Nope, I don't know what he's trying to do there. But we get out of bounds, unfortunately. I want to stay in to run clock. I'm just going to run the ball. I don't trust CT. There's no point. We're going man. And, of course, the clock is stopped, like I said. 
Uh, let's just go this way. First down, but unfortunately, I accidentally got went out of, out of bounds. We're going zone. The clock has stopped again. Perfect defense. I don't know why I'm doing with that formation. It doesn't work anymore. We're going zone. Probably need to be rotating this to the opposite side instead of the right because their impact guys are always on the right side. It wouldn't matter what I, decisions I make. It's just not meant to be for me to win today. I mean, the game decided that way early. Look how perfect that defense is. I don't... It's the most perfect defense I've ever seen. I'm going to run the ball. Oh, let's get this game over with, please, so we can move on. I told you, this could have been the game where just nothing goes right, and it's the end of the season, and here you are. This is what a perfect example of that looks like. Perfect defense, because that's just what it's meant to be. Fourth and 19. I'm not that terrible. I swear I'm not this bad. <laughs> Just the game is making me play bad. If I didn't know I was going to have this list control over anything, I would go ahead and play some other games, to be honest. So, I mean, I would just like just be done with it. We'll probably lose some awards to go along with that. With this loss, I mean, we probably won't go to a bowl now. Oh, I would experiment on some things now that the game is over with. But how can you experiment when your quarterback can't do anything? They're just, they can't do anything. Look at that. Just another easy catch. Oh, jeez. So well, there's one thing we could talk about, keep my mind off this nonsense, is I'm thinking about, of course, I've been playing around with like a new game. I don't know, why, why am I? Well, i got to play offense now. Sorry. I was going to get into something. We'll do that when we're on defense. I can't concentrate when I'm on offense. i got to focus. Um, I, I can try to talk about it if I can. There's a new playbook program that I'm looking into. That I really want to use, but it's very expensive. But it's like the NFL teams use it. And I want to try to use that like for video game purposes and such. But I can't make up my mind whether I want to do it or not. I've got to play around with it some. And it's a great program so far. But I don't know. On top of that, I've been playing some non-PC games. You know, a, a couple weeks ago I hinted at how I was thinking about adding some non-sports stuff to the channel, but I just haven't made up my mind yet on that. For whatever reason, I can't get motivated to post. So I don't know. There's still a lot of stuff I kind of want to tinker with. So I can't make up my mind whether I want to add non-sports stuff or not. I, I, the game that I've been playing will help the channel a lot. Look at this defense. Perfect defense! I love it. I love it. I love this perfect defense. So back to what I was talking about. And oh, I didn't even know I had a guy out for two weeks. Now look at this. So I don't even know who this is. It's Westbrook. Is he my strong safety out for two weeks? That's good to know. Out for the last game of the season. Uh, so, yeah, I got a couple things on my mind I'm trying to figure out what to do with. I don't know. I always have plenty of ideas. Just something needs to kind of really connect in order for me to put the time into it. And
we'll see how that goes. That playbook program is incredible. I mean, like, it's the real deal. And I have some ideas of, like, wanting to create all the 06 plays and some other games as well. I just got to figure out how I want to go about doing that. Because technically, I can do what they already do, but they organize stuff better. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I always do. I think it'll help the channel. It'll help the blog. And maybe it'll branch out to other things. Because one thing I've thought about doing is possibly start making videos covering real sport, real football concepts and not video game related stuff. Like me breaking down plays and stuff of games that I'm watching or something. Not really sure yet. Let's see. Let's try to get, let's pass some stats. Let's see if we can get JSC on the end zone at least. Uh, yeah, I thought about covering actual footage. NFL, college maybe. And with that playbook program, that gives me like an extra advantage or I can create that, put it on, you know, put it in that playbook program. And on top of doing video footage, add the playbook stuff as well. And of course, that didn't work. Um, third and goal in the five. Now JSL's even gassed. So I'm contemplating where to get that program or not because, again, it is expensive. And then just figuring out how I want to broaden up the channel because I'm enjoying playing 06, don't get me wrong, but I want to branch out as best I can. Probably is I can't play these other football games are terrible. I'm sorry I've tried. And I can't get into like 14. I can't get into 07 through 09. They're just not very good games in my eyes. But I, I struggle with them. I just... I don't, there's a lot of things I don't like about them. There's some things I do like about them, like, you know, just expanded playbooks. I can go on for days just going through that stuff. But I'm not going to go down that road. I'll just get upset, talk about the bad stuff about some of those games. But either way, that's kind of what I'm fooling around with. The PC game that I'm playing right now is uh, Civ Six, Civilization Six. I'm a big board game guy. I don't know if anybody knew that or not, but I really love playing board games. And Civ Six, that's basically a board game in digital form. And I've got to play a few hours of it so far, and I'm really enjoying it. So it's either me, uh, we can try some onside kick. Let's practice some of that. Uh, it may be, uh, I may just start posting some videos of that, do like a walkthrough of a, me playing a game. I'm not really sure. That's a terrible kick. Um, the game is over with. It doesn't matter at this point. I mean, we'd have to get just super miracle lucky in order to get this thing close. The problem is... With, you know, I like creating plays and stuff, you know, writing my books and everything. They just don't sell all that well. I mean, they sell probably okay for the amount of people that visit my site and watch my channel. But I got to justify the reason for putting that money into that program. If Plus, well, I'm having a hard time. Just I can't create books on the fly. It, it'd take too long to, to create them. So I got to come up with other ideas to post playbook type stuff. And I just don't have any, to be honest, at, at the moment. Well, that didn't make a difference. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, it's so bad. So between the playbook program and me trying to add a new game to this or get into the non-sports stuff. That's sort of what's been on my mind the last week or so, and I just can't make up my mind how I want to go about doing it. Wow. Such perfect football by a team. I've never seen anything like it. They're 3-7, and seven, and they're playing like an All-American team, like they're on their way to a national championship. So, you know, one of the reasons, uh, somebody brought this up, one of the reasons why I can't get into 07 is because the momentum meter is just so overpowering that it leads to just tons of goofy stuff. Mainly turnovers, fumbles, 
that just, I think, break the game. For me, I just can't get into it. This game has that feel of it. I just think in 07, they just souped it up to a different level. Now, some people are hinting at the 06 has momentum built into it, and I can see some of that. This game is a perfect example. I mean, look what's happening here. Like, nothing has gone right for me, and everything's perfect for Arkansas State. Just all of a sudden. Now, I'm also getting a ton of close games this year, too, so I don't know. But there are other things I don't, you know, that I wanted to get into with some of these other games, but... I don't know. I just got to make up my mind on something and just roll with it. I'm, I'm very good at talking myself out of things. Let's just put it that way. At this point, I'm just calling plays. I don't, I'm not even paying attention. I'm just trying to come up with something. We're going to run clock, though, as best we can. I'm just trying to get out of here. I know half, half of it is probably not even watching this yet. You probably have already closed it by now. That's okay. I understand. I wouldn't watch it either. I got starters in there, but what's the point? The season's pretty much over with. I got one more game left, but it's a game that I should win. I mean, I should, but the end of the season, playing well, you just never know. I'm just going to dive. Just get a first down. Let's do twin halfbacks, and let's do a fullback over. Now they're going with the... Yeah, that's still 4-2-5. Yeah, I wish I could turn out books a little bit better, or quicker, but I just can't. Sometimes I just don't have the ideas. If an idea hits that makes sense, I could turn one out in a few weeks. But those ideas just don't come all the time. So I'm trying to come up with other ideas to include playbook stuff. That, but going back, here's the thing. A lot of my tutorial videos, I don't know if anybody's ever went back and looked at my channel. A lot of my tutorial videos don't uh, get a whole lot of views compared to my Dynasty stuff. People like watching my Dynasty stuff a whole lot more than my tutorials. So I lose the motivation to do the teaching stuff. I hope you understand that. Some of you like it. Apparently most of you don't. Which, again, is fine. Everybody's different. Just terrible blocking. Let's see, what are we? It's third or second and eight. Everybody's gassed. Eh, he's still feeling fresh. Let's try... Let's do... I got an idea. Let's try Counter Strong with Galashaw. I think I can flip this. They're going man nickel. Uh, yeah, let's just stick with it. I, I think there's too many guys on that side. That's a good broke tackle there. And Number one on the run. Gain of 10 on the play. Let's try to go up to gut some. Let's go halfback dive. First and 10. We're going zone nickel. Clock has stopped. Just nothing there. We can stay here. I know I should probably put in subs because somebody may get hurt. But like I said, we got one game left in Zestra, Kentucky, and we should be able to win that. But you never know. Like I said, it's the end of the season nonsense. Anything's possible. Get it down to a few seconds. We're about over with with this game. We're getting there. I'm playing against backups now. Don't know if you've noticed. We'll just go down. Yeah, get yeah, celebrate there. That makes a lot of sense. All right, let's see if we can get the JS sale. We're going man, so he may not get it here. We can have JSL go over the top if we can. Maybe they'll bring both safeties. That'd be nice. At least pad his stats while we're here. And they're going one high, and I'm fixed to get sacked. Second and ten.
I gotta go to the outside. I can't do much inside stuff. They're going man. They're going dime of all things. The clock has stopped. Let's just get down. We're on the left hash, so we can try. Um, I think there is a, a shallow route that he can drag special. Well, let's do tight end choice. I think this is it. They're going man, so he's not even going to touch it. I can still maybe throw it to him, but Abdullah may begin this instead. But we're going with that clock roll. I have no reason to try to score quickly here. I'm just trying to end this game as best I can. That's intercepted. Nope, he actually caught that. That surprises me. I'm a five. Um, everybody's gassed. They're going man. Dang it. I may just throw this really quick to JS Sale. We may try that. Let's see what happens here. I think he's going to get caught by his own defender. Nope. Touchdown. 21 seconds. So at least he's getting his touchdowns in. Hopefully he can win the award. I think he will after a couple after the day. Getting a couple touchdowns there is going to help. That's a good little man beater, by the way. Did you notice that? Let's break that down. For the five people who are watching this at this point, they're going man. So what I've done was, you know, this flat route's really quick. So I was I didn't know how quickly this guy was gonna be like on top of JSL, but it looked like he had a bit of a delay. So when I'm throwing this, no, who was oh, is this guy was defending him. So that helped. Well, well, no wonder he was wide open. He got caught up on Abdullah as well. So that helped. Okay. Either way, that's an interesting little concept to do right there. It all depends on who's defending JSL though. Well, we only lost by three touchdowns instead of eight. Which is fine. Not a big deal. Let's do another onside kick. They should take a knee if they get this anyways. Unless he gets a great high kit, high bounce. Can we get it? Can we get it? And we get the ball. Good deal. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're on the 17. I'm trying to see how we can. Let's go tunnel screen. We're going man. Please go cover zero. Nope, we're going to do that instead. 12 seconds. I'm just trying to pad some stats if I can. Problem is, it's kind of hard to give the JS sale. It's too tight and deep. We're going man. Please go cover zero. Nope, they're not going to do it. It's a much better throw. We'll call a timeout. There's six seconds left. What we're going to do is go offensive line. And... We'll go tight and cross. We're going man. Since we're going man, we're going to do this. And that's a short arm throw. It was a good catch. It was a good try. All right, game is over. Thank the Lord. I I'm sorry. It was so bad, but I had I feel like I it was out of my hands that first half. It didn't matter what I would have done. They was just going to play their perfect football. So that's the end of the season bad game, I guess. What we can do is check out some individual stats. I don't care about these stats. They don't mean anything. Let's go to the individual. If I can get to it. Now, let's check out Arkansas State real quick. 9 of 14, 2 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Somehow, they still blew us out out of all that. But they ran the ball. I mean, look at their averages on, on the run game. They had that one humongous 92-yard run. That was just perfect. It just summed up the game. But I want to go here. Let's go to receiving. 
Jimmy St. Louis got eight receptions, 67 yards, and two touchdowns. At least he got a couple touchdowns in. That's all I really wanted to see there. All right. Unfortunately, we had I mean we got a loss, but that's okay. I mean, we're still eight and three. We got one game left. Hopefully we can finish nine and three. At least that's that would be nice. And why am I advancing the week? I completely forgot. Okay. Well, let's just hold on for a minute. I got we'll talk about one more thing. Um, so yeah, uh, something to think about, you know, for those of you who are paying attention in, in the second half, about that playbook thing, about me still adding the non-sports, you know, maybe adding Sip 6, I don't know, for whatever reason, I, I can't get myself to post that, I'm afraid it'll, it won't do well on the channel, I just don't know, that's just my crazy thinking, and we got a bye week to go along with that, so... I'll, I'll simulate this as well, so you won't have to see that. So next up, we got Eastern, Car Eastern Carolina. We got Eastern Kentucky. They're three and seven. They've won two in a row. This ain't a guaranteed game. They got more talent than we do. And if we play, you know, if we have another goofy game today, like we did today, then we may finish eight and four. I don't know. So come on back. Hopefully we can finish strong. And I'll talk to you later.